Dedicated to all the fishermen out there. Especially the musky fishermen. The muskies. I like to catch the muskies, that's what I do. Sometimes I catch walleyes cause I like them too. And I can catch crappies all night long. But I can catch muskies till the break of dawn. Oh, I hey everybody, we're out here today. We're going to talk suic thrillers. These things are great for the fall. You can usually work them a lot slower than most of your other bait. We're going to talk about how to use them, when to use them, where to use them, why to use them, how to tune them. That's a big thing, especially with this one. This one's a wood model. Uh, they require a little bit more tuning than the one that I have here. It's a high impact plastic. These things are awesome because they just don't have the wear and tear that the wood ones do. But each one has its own specific use and time and place. So we'll talk about that in just a second. To tune these out of the box, they usually come pretty straight. Uh, I like to have a deep dive on mine, so I give it a pretty, uh, I'm going to control my boat here. Whoa! Ah! Control my boat here. We're trying to pull a little drift, but it's a little windy out here, so that's not going to happen. It'd probably help, help if I turned it on. Anyway, back to the question at hand. I like to have mine dive a little bit deeper and sharper so I get a pretty good bend. If it's not going the way you want, you just gotta mess with these things. There's no real right way or wrong way to tune them. You gotta do it and set it up how you want it and the action that you want. Whether you wanna bend one side of the tail to get it to kick a certain way, you know, how deep you want. Um, you can adjust the eyelid on the wood ones left or right to decide which way it'll kick there's so many ways to fine tune these and you just really got to mess around with them you're not going to get a definitive answer from me um, even though i'm a giant diehard thriller fan uh, you're not going to get the 100 percent correct method because there is no correct method you cannot work these wrong i've caught them i've caught muskies just dive pause i've caught muskies ju ju just you know ripping it kind of like a glide bait it's just whatever they're in the mood for and you gotta you know have something set up for every scenario that's why i carry a couple boxes of these so um, they come big models little models you know you just gotta fit it to whatever application you're using so let's put this wood one down so i got this one on right now and let's talk about how this thing's supposed to work according to some people how i like to work them how i'd be working it right now in the fall um, where i'm at in Illinois, we've had uh, some goofy weather. It's still pretty warm. What's our water temp right now? Oh, see it. Top left corner underneath the depth. 60.8. 60.8, it's finally cooling off around here. You know, in other parts of the country, control my boat. It's um, you know, upper 40s, low 50s. So we still haven't really hit that for sure fall phase yet so the fish could be anywhere probably shallow right now uh, would be my guess so that's what i'm hearing either shallow or super deep so i haven't been on the water a whole lot lately i've had some family obligations to take care of and uh let's just be honest she'll probably kill me if i stay on the water every day so yeah this is the high impact this is the original black color i love this thing you can use it all days it's a bright day today I should be throwing probably a fire tiger or orange or something like that, but I like to do things off the wall that everybody swears, oh, you can't do that, it won't work. And then when it works, I go, yeah. So let's throw this bad boy out here. Um, I'm going to get a shot of this. So we throw it out there, and some people will work them like this. I like to go to the side. Um, I just, the way, when I do it that way, I can see what's going on. You know, reel up your slack, give it a couple, you know, one, two foot pull, and just see what happens there. You can let it come back to the surface. And like I said, I've caught them a lot of different ways. You, know, you, can rip, you can reel it down. A lot of people don't know that uh, a lot of guys, especially the old timers back when Frank Seward first developed this, he used to troll with this. We'll just pitch it out here real quick. I don't know if you can see that thing on top of the water there. You're able to get that. Or do I need to switch to a different color? See it a little bit. Alright, so what, what you're going for is that dive. 
and then that kicked off to the side too much. There we go. Gave it too hard of a pull for the way I got it tuned. So what you're wanting, you just pitch it out, especially in weeds, you can the dive and rise, it'll back itself out of most tangles. You can almost feel it like a crankbait. You can really feel it with these St. Croix rods with the split grips. Um, that blank, you can definitely feel it. But just that, that erratic movement. And these things are ridiculously loud under the water. So you got that noise factor for an attraction. You got the, the bright splash off of the tail because the tail's metal. So you get that sun reflection off of it. Um, and you can hear, listen to that. Don't tell me that thing's not making noise under the water every time you jerk it. It's just a dinner bell ringing is all it is. Ding, 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 come eat me. So. Just cast them out. You, know, you can work them, like I said, like kind of like a glide bait where you pop it, reel your slack in. I know a lot of guys like to do that. I prefer to pull to the side. Um, Grandpa up in Vermilion was giving me a little bit of guff because I was working my suic really, really, really slow. And he even said, who taught you how to work a suic? <laughs> and it wasn't just a couple minutes later and a low 30 inch pipe just smoked that thing right inside the boat. So how I work them works. It might not be your way. It may not be the definition of the right way, but it's my way and it works. Um, so I will continue doing it how I do it. As long as it catches fish, it's not stupid. That's my thoughts on it. So yeah guys, you know just all you gotta do is just play with it, you know, work it. Don't forget to figure eight with it. Just do a little, you know, little erratic action like you were with the glide bait. And with your rod just flipping it. And uh, pick one of these up today. You know, you're, they should definitely grace your boxes. I mean, there's a reason that Suic's been in business for over 70 years, and that's because that their products just point blank catch fish. So check them out. You can pick these up at muskytackleonline.com. You can pick them up from Suic. Uh, I'll put links to both of them in the description down below. And uh, you guys take it easy. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, get this video. Make it go viral just because. Uh, but yeah, just have some fun, catch some big fish. We'll see you in the next one. Here we go, heading home. We got skunked. I uh, just talked to another guy. He was musky fishing. They caught a little, what do you say, 30 incher? Yeah, 30. 30, 32 maybe. And they had a rip trolling um, that shot straight up through the hook. That happens. So we're going to head home. Give you a quick picture of the lake here. Gorgeous lake. This is Prairie Lake. Chandlerville, Illinois. Awesome fishery. Some big muskies in there. You just got to find them. Right now with uh, duck season, you can fish it Wednesday and Saturday after 1 p.m. Um, as a 10 horsepower, or I'm sorry, no, there's no horsepower restriction on this lake, but it's a no wake lake. Uh, 10 horsepower and less, you can run them things wide open. Everything else has to be no wake, so pretty much idle speed. Um, you can bump like mine. I got a I got a 50 Mercury on my boat. Um, I can bump that up to about four mile an hour before I, you know, pr produce a wake. So it makes it pretty decent for trolling, um, especially fall when you want to slow down. Uh, water temps today uh, were 60 degrees, so they're cooling off. Weather this week is supposed to drop down in the mid 30s at night, so we should definitely be getting some uh, cooler water temps which will help that's what we need need the, need the fish to turn on for fall so let's uh let's get the hell out of here and go home see ya watch me drive Whee! And I'm a fisherman And I can catch some fish So oh, yes I can If you ask somebody They'll tell you too That I'm a fisherman That's what I do